It's taken Benelli quite a long time to get this motorcycle to the market, but the 502C is finally here. It is the company's take on a power cruiser. And as many of you must have guessed by now, it seems to be inspired by the Ducati Diablo 1260. However, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let me tell you more about this motorcycle because there is more to the 502C than what meets the eye. For the sake of setting the grounds for the review, let's begin with what meets the eye and then proceed to go deeper, shall we? You see, although it seems like the designers of the 502C have liberally taken many leaves out of the Diablo's design handbook, the execution is rather interesting. Now the motorcycle has some interesting yet quirky design highlights, like this headlamp you see over here. Now it has a projector for the low beam and a multi-reflector for the high beam and you have this DRL but the shape of the headlamp as well as these outlines over here remind you of the mask that was used in uh, the scary movie. View sideways, the silhouette is highly reminiscent of the x Diavel, even down to the placement of the pillion backrest. In fact, Benelli even gave it a Diavel matching 1600mm wheelbase which is what gives it that long, low cruiser stance. Thankfully, unlike a Diavel, the ground clearance is a very decent 170mm. The buff fuel tank occupies pride of place in the entire scheme of things and the tail section has been neatly integrated as well. Elements like the twin LED tail lamp strips and the number plate holder with the integrated turn indicators are nice touches as well. It's only when you move to the rear that you notice that the sense of proportion is a bit lost because when you look at the big tank and this bodywork and then when you look at this 160 section tyre, it seems narrow. So maybe a 180 section tyre would have probably filled up this gap a little better. But we can let that pass as a case of function winning over form, but more on that a little later. For now, let's swing a leg over it. Once you're seated on this motorcycle, you get that big bike feel. Look at the size of this fuel tank. This holds 21 liters. Then you've got a really wide handlebar. In fact, it's so wide that you have to be careful about knocking somebody's rear view mirror while you're filtering through traffic. Also, the seat is nice and deeply scooped, so it's really comfortable over long journeys. The same can be said about the pillion seat, and it certainly isn't for larger individuals. The backrest may help with lending some much needed support to the pillion, but unless you've got someone with a slim frame to tag along, it's rather unusable. Coming to the quality levels, the fit and finish are par for the course. In terms of equipment, there's LED indicators and a TFT display that has a sensor to switch between day and night modes as well as layouts. The clutch and brake levers are also adjustable, but spinning those adjusters around doesn't seem to do much. Another gripe is that, going back to today's standards, the display lacks Bluetooth connectivity and it's also hard to read when the sun is right above. Nevertheless, let's now concentrate on the more than what meets the eye part of this review, because this is where the Benelli turned out to be a pleasant surprise. This twin-cylinder engine offers decent tractability in the city and at the same time has enough performance to hold 100-120 kph without feeling strain on the highways. But since this engine is inherently buzzy, you will feel vibrations in the bar, around the tank and in the pegs. While there is some vibration to be felt, it's the type of buzz that's not bothersome and that's for more than one reason. In fact, you might just ignore that mild buzz from the engine because of the way this motorcycle sounds. In typical Benelli fashion, it's loud and raspy and it grabs attention. Let me give you a demo. The 
performance offered by this 47 and a half horsepower engine is decent considering the 216 kilograms it has to haul. 0 to 60 kph comes up in 2.81 seconds while the 100 kph mark is breached in 6.4 seconds. The motor also has the ability to hit 150 kph without too much effort. What impressed me is the engine's tractability in the city. You can sit in top gear at 35 kph and ride as lazily as you please. The engine doesn't get uncomfortably hot in dense traffic either, so riding in our conditions won't entail tandurized legs. On the highway, this very tractable nature mixed with tall 5th and 6th gears translates to the bike returning 31 kpl with a 55 kilo rider on board. Looking at today's sky high fuel prices, that figure is rather pleasing yet surprising at the same time. The thing that surprises about this motorcycle is the way it rides and handles. Now the suspension at front is non-adjustable but it offers a nice and comfortable ride over bad roads. You can say the same about the rear as well. This monoshock never bottomed out no matter how deep a pothole we hit. But it has a firm edge so you will feel those large expansion joints or potholes when you hit them at speed. It doesn't get to the point of being uncomfortable and a little firmness is totally acceptable considering the way the bike goes around bends. If anything, it looks like Benelli has cloned the way the Diavel rides as well. The handling is pretty good as well. In fact, when you're riding this motorcycle at speed, it feels stable and confident. There's decent amount of feedback from the front end and this long wheelbase and the swing arm offers good mid-corner stability. However, credit is due to the Pirelli Angel GT tires because these tires give you immense confidence to chuck this motorcycle in a corner. On most of the road surfaces that we encountered during the test, the bike felt planted and confident. The only thing to watch out for is that the firm feeling fork can give you a sense of the front skipping while encountering a large mid-corner bump. The other area where there could be some improvement is in the braking department. While 280mm discs and radially mounted calipers are adequate to bring the bike down to a halt, the feel through the lever could have been better. The 502C presents itself as a unique proposition in the sub 5 lakh rupee price band. It delivers on the promise of being a power cruiser and at the same time a lot of you will like its looks, its road presence and the way it sounds. This Benelli surely finds itself in the sweet spot with no real challenger in the market at present. The only real threat could come in the form of the Royal Enfield 650cc cruiser that's on the horizon. On the whole, there's a lot going for the 502C, especially if you like what Benelli has done with the styling. If the company can ensure long-term reliability and good after-sales support, this bike has the potential to do quite well for them.